Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's Matt with the Feral Photographer 71. Welcome to another episode of Cat Talk. Today, um, I am going to answer the question, what can I do to help feral cats? How can I help feral cats? The, the most important thing that anybody can do to help feral cats is to support TNR. And for anybody that doesn't know what TNR is, I talk about it all the time in my videos. TNR stands for trap, neuter, return. Trap, neuter, release, either way, depending on you know, what area you live in. Uh, the process of TNR is trapping feral cats that haven't been fixed. And um, they humanely trap them, they transport them to a veterinary clinic, and they are surgically sterilized, they are spayed and neutered, uh, and this prevents them from breeding and increasing the size of the feral cat population. That is the best thing that you can do, is get involved or be supportive with TNR. Um, there are other things that you can do. Uh, you can put out water, you can put out food for feral cats. If you live in an area and you notice uh, that there's a, a feral cat population, you have cats coming around, um, that does help the cats. Uh, they have a very rough life out there, so every meal is important, every water source is important. Um, but with that, I would ask that anybody feeding feral cats or putting water out for the neighborhood ferals, uh, please keep an eye out for cats that are intact. If you see cats that haven't been spayed or neutered, haven't been TNR'd, and there's a simple way to tell if a cat's been TNR'd, you're going to see the tip of their ear on either side, depending on what area you live in. S certain areas do this side, certain areas do that side. Uh, look for an ear tip. That lets you know that the cat has already been spayed or already been surgically sterilized. Um, if you're going to be feeding and, pr and providing water for these cats, it's very important to also make sure that the local people who do TNR are notified of any ferals that are not fixed, that are intact, because um, it's, you know, it, it's a never ending process. People keep leaving their pets on the street. They keep letting them roam. Cats keep getting pregnant. There's more and more ferals. So, you know, the TNR people stay on top of this the best that they can, but it's an overwhelming process. So every little bit of help that you can offer as an individual helps them. And it also helps the cats. So how do you find out who's doing TNR in your area? Google it. Google your local area, trap, neuter, return, uh, see if you can find any groups that come up in your Google search. If not, the easiest way is to go on to Facebook. You can really check other social media platforms, but Facebook tends to be the best, in, in my personal opinion. Go on Facebook, find a local cat group in your area, join it, and begin asking questions. Introduce yourself, hey, I live over here, I've noticed that there are intact cats, um, how can we remedy this? Is there anybody that does TNR in my area? And those people, I promise you, will point you in the right direction of the person that or the people that work in your area to get the feral cats uh, trapped and uh, you know, spayed and neutered. So that's the easiest way to do it. I hope that answers your questions or I hope that gives you an idea of how you can help um, because we need all the help we can get. These animals really, really have a rough life out there. And TNR is uh, the most important way to help lower the amount of suffering out there. And eventually, if we, if we do succeed with it, stopping the problem altogether. Um, and that's from a cat lover. So, you know, it's, it's very important. Um, how to help feral cats? Get them TNR'd. And secondary feeding and watering. If you want to put out food and you want to put out water, that does help too. I'm not going to deny that. There are people that say, if you're not going to get them spayed and neutered yourself, you shouldn't be feeding them. Put out the food, put out the water, keep an eye out. If you see cats that are intact or if you, know, you notice that there's no ear tips, um, get in touch with somebody in your local area who does TNR and see if they can arrange to come out and, and trap the cats and get them fixed. Um, there are different ordinances depending on where you live uh, with legalities. Um, I know where I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, 
Uh, there are trapping groups, but they can't just go set up traps on people's private property without the property owner's permission. So giving your permission to a TNR group is a huge thing. It's a big deal. And you can help feral cats by doing that, by inviting them in to trap, catch the ones that are intact, get them fixed, return them. And then you can go on feeding and watering them if you want. That's a great way to help. So remember, use social media, use, uh, use the groups in different social media platforms. I personally recommend, again, Facebook, because they've, they've got so many great groups all around the world. So look for a cat group, join it, and you can get help there from, from wonderful people in the cat community. So I hope this answers any questions people have of, of how can we help feral cats. That is the best way, TNR. So until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I love you guys all from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. And remember, until next time, do something kind for cats. You know, they do deserve it. So have a great day.